Hi everyone, today in this video let's talk about the scholarships that are available for international students if you are planning to study in Australia. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first one is Australia Awards. Now this is one of the most competitive scholarships that is given to students from developing countries only. Some of the countries from this list is Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Philippines and few more. The scholarship is one of the best because it not only covers the tuition fee but also covers the airfares, the living costs and also the overseas student health cover as well. For you to be eligible for the scholarship you should be a citizen of the participating countries and also must be returning to your home country once you finish your studies. Not only this, you should be also having exceptional academic background, which is how they're going to select the number of students and then offer uh, the scholarship for those students. Number two is Destination Australia. Now this is an Australian government program that funds the tertiary education providers so that they can provide uh, scholarships to the students in order to study in regional Australia. As a recipient of the scholarship, you can be studying from uh, anywhere between Cert 4 to even PhD. All of that will be covered if you are 100% eligible for the scholarship. If you receive the scholarship, you will be able to study up to four years in the regional Australia, which is away from metropolitan cities. The authorities have updated their website by saying that currently for the year 2024, they are uh, funding $15,000 per student and they have been selecting about 550 domestic and international students to be eligible for this particular scholarship. However, the most important thing is this particular funding that is Destination Australia uh, program is only for the tertiary education providers and it is not directly for the students. If you are interested in receiving the scholarship, you have to reach out to your education provider and get more details on that. Some of the providers that are receiving this particular funding from the government is University of Sydney, University of New England, Charles Sturt University, University of Wollongong and Latrobe University. There there are many more universities. I'm just going to have a link in the description box. Go ahead and check that out. The next scholarship that is available for students is RTP, that is Australian Government Research Training Program. Now, this is only for those students who would like to pursue their career in research. Let it be master's research or research doctorate as well. If you are someone who is interested in this scholarship, some of the universities that are participating in this particular program are Australian Catholic University, you've got Bond University, Central Queensland University, Charles Darwin University, Charles Sturt University and many more. Again, the link will be down in the description box. Go ahead and check that out. Some of the forms of support that you can receive out of this program is you can either receive a cap on your tuition fee or you can also receive a stipend. Now, stipend is ma mainly utilized for your living costs and other costs that you have when you're here uh, conducting your research education. You will also to receive RTP allowances now you can use this money for any sort of your publications because you are part of the research program the next scholarship that's available is Deakin's Vice Chancellor Scholarship for International Students. Now, this is going to cover about 100% of your tuition fee if you are eligible. Now, this is only confined to Deakin University and if you have to be eligible for the scholarship, one of the primary criteria is you should be having about 85% in your previous studies and there's also other, um, other criteria that you must meet that will be given in the website. Now, if you are someone who is receiving the scholarship, you have to be um, participating in the Vice Chancellor's Excellence Program and that is one of the mandatories. Another advantage of receiving the scholarship is just like how I said it's it's about 100% of your tuition fee but you will also be receiving priority in the accommodation at campus but it is also at your own cost. This scholarship covers both undergraduate and postgraduate studies. So if you are someone who is pursuing uh, either of these and if you've received about 85% in your previous studies, you might be eligible. So go ahead and check that out. Now, if you are from India, this is this is one of the scholarship that is just eligible for those participants who are citizens of India. Now, this is Deakin Vice Chancellor's Meritorious 100% Scholarship. This is fully funded for those international students who are citizens of India. This scholarship covers about 100% of your tuition fee if you are planning to study at Deakin University. One of the most important eligibility criteria for this scholarship is again you have to be having a valid passport and you should be citizens of India. Apart from that you should be getting about 85% in your previous studies which will make you eligible for this scholarship. 
just like how i mentioned before um you will you will be receiving about 100% uh, cover on the tuition fee expenses and you will also be receiving priority for the university student accommodation at your own cost the eligible countries for this particular scholarship is just india another scholarship that is pertaining to deakin university is international vice chancellor scholarship which is again covering 100% of the tuition fee if you're planning to study in deakin university but the eligibility criteria here for this particular scholarship is if you are from certain south asian countries then you are eligible for this particular scholarship another academic requirement that you need to have is about 85% in your 12 or 80% in your undergrad if you are planning to pursue your post grad in order to be eligible for the scholarship your 100% tuition fee would be covered and priority for your student accommodation at the campus will be given at your own cost but the eligible countries are different uh, these countries are nepal bangladesh bhutan mauritius and myanmar One last scholarship that we have got for today is your Monash Leading International Scholarship. If you are an international student um who's got high academic achievements and also has a potential to become a Monash ambassador, um then you will be receiving this particular scholarship. All countries are under the eligible country list. You will be getting about 100% cover for your tuition fee as well and you can study both undergrad and postgrad either or both of them um for you to receive this particular scholarship i hope this video was quite helpful if you like this video please hit like comment share and subscribe i'll see you next week until then bye